Hi there. Um, are you haunted by the wounded masculine? As a woman, I think sometimes we can find ourselves <clears throat> surrounded by physical representations of the wounded masculine and we end up in this sort of like rescuer role or we try to like save these people or heal these people or <clears throat> try to like we project outward and, and start to try to fix things about them or blame things blame them for things rather than realizing that we keep attracting this because of something that's unhealed within us this is something that I've become consciously aware of uh, recently which I wasn't aware of for a while you can only ever attract what you already have within and I feel like this is a big block for <coughs> being able to come together with your twin as well because you can't attract a healthy relationship and a healed stable <coughs> uh, masculine if you have that instability and that unhealed sort of broken masculine energy within you um i realize this is part of like the craving that i've had for like a deep connection with someone it's not just um <coughs> it's not just a deep connection it's been about being able to really surrender into my full feminine expression and feeling safe to do that and I've never felt like I've had a man in a relationship who's been able to support that. <clears throat> I've always felt like... I can't even explain it as to, properly as to why, but I've always felt like there's this um, level of instability and like insecurity of feeling safe to really surrender into my true feminine expression and that's been because I haven't had that within like you your masculine energy within has to be able to step up to support your feminine and to be that sacred container in order for your feminine flames to like move or to express themselves to dance and I feel like <clears throat> I've noticed that like resisting healing this or, or not being aware that I needed to heal this has been something that has been what's like stopped me from being able to fully really step into my purpose and it might resonate with some other people it's not being about not believing in myself or not I mean yeah on the surface some of it's been about having the money but really it's not been about having the money it's been about feeling safe enough and trusting that I'll receive from that and that's all about the, the masculine energy inside you. I feel like there are a lot of women that are really craving that level of connection in relationships and <clears throat> they don't realise that this is actually what's blocking them from being able to receive that. Um, so yeah. It's all about healing that broken energy and you can often feel like your masculine twin is not supporting you on the outside either so you, you might be stuck in this loop of constantly attracting wounded masculine relationships but also it's the same reason why you're not seeing your twin support you on the outside because your internal masculine energy is not supporting you <clears throat> so once you start to allow that energy to step up and support you, you'll start to see more support in the 3D from your twin. And it's interesting as well because we feel like sometimes that they're not supporting us, but their energy is always all around us and it's always there supporting us even if we don't see it. It is what's guiding us as, 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 along with our own soul, it's what's guiding us through this process. And like, I don't know if you feel this, but I've felt like I've been guided to do certain things at certain times. Like now it's really coming into that this is what I need to heal at the present moment and release my attachment to the wounded masculine. So yeah, so I just thought this would maybe <clears throat> resonate with some people and maybe put a light bulb on for some people that this is what they, what they need to do as well. So yeah, so thank you.